Hey everybody, this is Franco, and this video is about my recent upgrade to the Grizzly Geo 765 Mini Lathe CNC conversion. I am finished using Mach 3, and now I've moved on to the Centroid CNC 12 software along with the Centroid Acorn motion control board. So I want to take a couple minutes and talk about that, tell you why I did it, why I think it's better. So in the past, there were really only two good options for the CNC control software. People seem to either go with Mach 3, or maybe they went with Linux CNC. I'm not a Linux guy, so in the past I went with Mach 3, and I just figured that was the best I could do. Uh, turning in Mach 3 works, but the software is kind of glitchy. The way that, the way that Mach 3 handles tool offsets is really strange, it can be confusing. Uh, I don't really like it, I don't think a lot of other people like it. Um, Mach 3 is a 32-bit a uh, piece of software, so it only runs on a 32-bit operating system, and uh, so you have to find older computers to run it. If, if you don't have an older computer with a parallel port, then you have to get some kind of external motion control device like a smooth stepper, which is okay, but many people find that a little, uh, maybe a little frustrating to configure that and, and to work with it. So, beyond Mach 3, I tried Mach 4. Mach 4 is definitely better than Mach 3, but um, it never really seemed to catch on out there in the world like Mach 3 did. And, um, you know, it's not as well supported uh, as you might imagine that it would be. So there's also some other things about Mach 4 that make me not love it. So I figured I'd be using Mach, or Mach 3 forever. But finally, another option has become available, and it's a really good option. It's the Centroid Acorn... Uh, CNC control system with the Centroid CNC 12 software. So, I'm systematically going through converting all my Mach 3 setups over to the Centroid uh, control software, so I want to tell you why. So I have a couple of reasons, and I'll go through those really quick. First of all, the CNC 12 software is stable. This is, this is really not new software. Uh, the new part of it is this virtual touchpad. That's what they've added. But the actual software itself has been around for a while. They've been selling this to uh, actual, you know, industrial grade customers, people in machine shops and factories. Uh, so this software came from like the the industrial commercial world, and now it's available in DIY. Uh, but the software is new, or the software is not new. It's been around. It's stable. Uh, so that's important. The CNC 12 software runs on a Windows 10 computer, so you don't have to go digging around looking for old 32-bit uh, computers with old operating systems. It wants to run on Windows 10, and it's even touchscreen compatible, so if you have a uh, touchscreen setup, you can use it. Um, I've used it both ways, and I'll be honest with you, uh, the touchscreen is really cool and I like it, but I don't mind using the mouse and uh, the keyboard. They, they both work you know, equally well. So you don't have to go buy a touchscreen monitor. You can use it with your regular plain old computer or your plain old monitor. The board, uh, the Acorn board, and I'm not going to show the board. I'll just talk about it. The Acorn board is uh, a really good motion control device. It has a really fast processor on it. But something that's worth mentioning is it's, it's not just the motion control device. It's actually a breakout board. So the Acorn board itself has eight inputs and eight outputs. It has really nice uh, heavy-duty screw-down terminals. It has a uh, analog 0 to 10 volt output, so you can wire it up to your, uh, your VFD spindle drives. It has relays built onto the board. It has a DB25 connection on the board, so you can plug it into like your, your Gecko G540s or any of your devices that use a parallel port, which is actually how I have it connected on my setup. Um, and it also has a connection for a differential quadrature encoder, so you can plug that right into the board. So the, the board, the hardware, is really nice, and it, it's, a, it's not only a motion control device, but it's actually a, a good breakout board. So you don't have to buy extra expansion boards and things like that. It's basically one-stop shopping. The setup of the software is really easy. The, uh, the software and the hardware come from the same people, so they're very well integrated. You don't have to deal with all the frustration of, you know, installing the driver or the control software and then going out and finding plugins and extra drivers and doing firmware updates for all the hardware. Uh, it's all interwoven here with the Centroid software. 
In fact, the setup wizard for the software is you know, fairly simple. There's not nearly as many buttons and things to click as there was for Mach 3 or Mach 4. And once you get this software set up, the CNC12 software actually, it does everything it needs to do to take care of the hardware. So when you launch the software, it talks to the motion control board, it does a firmware update if it needs to, needs to do that. You don't really have to interact with the Acorn board at all. The CNC12 software takes care of that for you. So that's a big deal because in the Mach 3, Mach 4 world, it can be a little confusing dealing with all the plugins and the drivers and knowing which place to set what setting. Um, that, that part goes a lot more smoothly here with uh, the Centroid system. So uh, I talked about tool offsets. The way that the uh, Centroid software handles tool offsets is really nice. It's a lot more like what you would be used to you, uh, seeing on a regular commercial control. And uh, you know, it's very graphical. So as you're going through, um, as, you, as you're changing settings, there's little graphics on the screen that help you figure out what you're doing. Um, you know, that's really nice. The uh, process of touching off your tools is fairly simple. So I'm not gonna, this video isn't really an instruction on how to do it, but I'm just, you know, gonna show you really quickly. So basically you would come down, take a skim cut, measure whatever your diameter is. Let's just say you, you know, you measured it and you know, you had a diameter of 0.498. So your skim cut was at 498. You just come over here to your X offset. You say measure X and measure here, boom, and it loads the offset in there. That tool's touched off an X. Process is very similar for Z, and actually very similar process for setting your work offsets and uh, you know, setting the zero point on your part. It's really nice. When you're done, you press save, um, and it also has uh, the ability to do incremental you know, adjustments. So you can incrementally adjust you know, your geometry and then you can also, uh, it has a tool wear table too. So you can touch off all your tools, put your geometry in, and then as the tool's wearing, you know, you can just uh, keep comping the tool. That's really nice. This is, you know, very much like a regular industrial grade CNC control. Whereas in Mach 3, it was, the way the offsets worked in Mach 3 were always a little strange. Um, it, it definitely, uh, if you were used to a regular industrial grade CNC control, Mach 3 felt weird. This, you feel like you're at home. So, all right, talked about offsets. The, oh yeah, naturally this control software will run a standard G-code program, regular fan up type G-code program, but it also has this uh, really nice conversational uh, package called Intercom. So you can write, you know, actually fairly complicated programs really quickly right here at the control. And, um, you know, it's, I'm really looking forward to this. This is actually one of the big reasons why I moved to this because a lot of times I'm just doing simple things, doing a face, turning a diameter, making a groove, uh, and then doing a cutoff. You can write those types of programs here really quickly. Um, saves a lot of time. The online support for the software is pretty good. They have a really nice forum. There's a lot of uh, people that are active on there and when you post questions, you seem to get an answer you know, fairly quickly. So I really like that. And the uh, manual that comes with the software is pretty good. So you can tell that it was written for someone who's actually you know, working, uh, you know, trying to make a living running the machine. They actually give you step-by-step -step directions on how to use the software and how to do things. Uh, so I like that. kind of gets right to the point and gets you uh, where you want to go quickly. Finally, the uh, software is a phenomenal deal. For $265, you get the CNC12 software, the basic version, you get the Acorn board, you get a 24 volt power supply, you get the power cable and an ethernet cable to connect it to your computer. You get all that for $265. If the basic version of the software doesn't do what you need, you can upgrade to the pro version for an, uh, an extra $100. And uh, if you want some tech support, like some real personalized support, you can buy uh, tech support by the hour for a very reasonable price. So those are all really nice things. So if you're a DIY uh, CNC conversion guy and you're working on a lathe project, I, I would highly recommend that you check out this software. 
I think you would really like it. If you're used to Mach 3, I think you will see that this is a big upgrade and it makes your, uh, your usage of your machine a lot more fun. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, please be safe as you're working on your projects and um, have a good day.